Hi, I'm Joy at Amazon Web Services. Today, I'm going to show you how to create AWS Identity and Access Management policies using the visual editor in the IAM console. IAM policies enable you to grant IAM users, groups, and roles permissions to AWS services and resources. The visual editor makes it easier to follow IAM best practices by enabling you to create and modify IAM policies using a point and click interface. The point and click interface helps you define resources in your policies more easily so you can create policies that grant least privilege access to services and resources. You can also add conditions on resource access for extra security. In this video, I will demonstrate how to use the visual editor to create an IAM policy that grants list and read access to all the objects in an Amazon S3 bucket. I will also show you how to require multi-factor authentication to access those S3 objects by using policy conditions. Let's get started. To create an IAM policy using the visual editor, you will begin by signing into the AWS Management Console with their username and password. Go to the IAM Console by choosing IAM under Security, Identity, and Compliance. Choose Policies in the Navigation pane. Next, choose Create Policy on the top left. This brings you to the Visual Editor. The Visual Editor guides you through creating an IAM policy. You can also choose to modify an existing policy by choosing Import Managed Policy. In this demonstration, I will show you how to create a new IAM policy that grants list and read access for a specific S3 bucket. To begin, click on Choose a Service. Type S3 in the search filter and then choose S3. Next, choose Select Actions. You can select actions in multiple ways. First, you can search for actions by using the search box, or you can enter actions manually by choosing Add Action next to Manual Actions. Finally, you can choose an access level group and select from a list of available actions. For example, I can choose the list access level group and select from the available list actions. You can select all of the actions for an access level group by enabling the checkbox next to the access level group's name. In this example, I am going to choose the checkboxes next to the list and read access level groups. Now that I have selected the actions, I need to define the resources. In some cases, you may see warnings because some of the actions you selected require you to specify a resource. These warnings will disappear once you define the resources. To define the resources, click on the Resource section. By default, the specific resource option is selected to encourage you to grant least privilege permissions and define specific resources in your policy. Because we want to grant access to a specific bucket, choose Add ARN next to the bucket resource and enter the bucket name in the pop-up window. Type Amazon and choose Add. Next, choose Add ARN next to the object resource type. In the pop-up window, enter Amazon for the bucket name. Choose the Any checkbox for the object name. You can also choose to grant access to specific objects in the Amazon bucket. Click Add to save your changes. Next, choose Specify Request Conditions. Choose MFA Required to require users accessing the S3 bucket to authenticate with multi-factor authentication for additional security. You can also add global or specific conditions such as time or IP address conditions by choosing Add Condition. If you want to add permissions for another service to your policy, you can choose Add additional permissions. Next, choose Review Policy. Give your new policy a name. Enter Amazon S3 Bucket Policy. You can also give your policy a description. Enter Allows List and Read Access to an Amazon Bucket. Next, you can review the permissions in your new policy by looking at the policy summary. You can verify that the policy grants access to the correct service actions for the appropriate resources. 
You can also verify the conditions on those permissions, such as MFA. You can see detailed list of the specific service actions and resources in the policy by clicking on the service name. After you review the policy and verify it is correct, choose Create Policy. In this video, I've shown you how to create an IAM policy by using the point-and-click visual editor. To learn more about AWS IAM policies, visit the IAM page. Thanks for watching.